السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين The Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said كل ابن آدم خطاء وخير الخطائين التوابون So the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم saying Every human being this is state every human being will make mistake every human being will forget sometime will sin sometimes yeah the best of them are those who realize that quickly and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say sorry I was wrong and stop it and change their behavior and fix their mistakes yeah the con it's not it's not tark the scholars say it's not dark, it's not just leaving the mistake or can't do it anymore because you're 40 or 30. <laughs> no, it's about realizing it's a mistake. You have to apologize to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to turn to Allah and say sorry, and you have to hate it. You have to resent what you've done in the past, and you have to have 100% resolve in your heart, in your mind, never to go back again. And if it involves third party, other people, you have to reconcile with the people. And that's Ramadan, the month of forgiveness. Yeah? It's the month of forgiveness. It's incredible, the description of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I make a mistake with you, if I wrong you, if I do something wrong with you, I am not sure if you're going to accept or not. Uh, you know, it's, this is always stopping. Ah, but they won't listen, but they won't for, But You know, and you keep trying to get uh, somebody to help you to go and resolve the problem. Allah in the Quran described himself before creation of the universe, غافر them. وَقَابِلِ التَّوْبِ Oh, subhanAllah, description of this. غَافِرِ them, He is already, ready, waiting for people to say sorry. He will accept it. Before you even think about it. While you're in the middle of the sin, Allah's description is, He is already ready for you to turn and say sorry. He will accept it. وَقَابِلِ التَّوْبِ He always accepts repentance from people. He always accepts those who turn to him. Actually, he loves them. إِنَّ اللَّهِ يُحِبُّ التَّوَابِ Allah loves those who realize in this life before the, you know, because if you see the unseen, there is no need for faith. Faith is to believe. If you see the angel of death and says, I have faith now, sorry. No, you don't need faith. You have all the evidence. Yeah? Faith is now. While you have the intellect and the mind and the sound and the reminders, then you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ibn Adam, subhanallah, hadith qudusi, innaka ma da'awtani wa rajawtani ghafartu laka ala ma kana minka wa la ubali. Human being, if you call on me, if you turn to me, I will forgive everything and, every, and whatever you do. Whatever you do, whatever you do, disbelief, worshipping idol, killing 99 people, murder. It's not just the shooting, it's murder. Meditated murder of more than 99 people, Allah forgive. Not only Allah forgive, Allah sent angel of rahmah for that murderer because his heart changed. Yeah? The Prophet wasallam said, if you say perfection belongs to Allah, everything Allah does is perfect and praiseworthy, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, hundred times, غُفِرَتْ ذُنُوبُهُ وَلَوْ كَانَتْ مِثْلَ زَبْدِ الْبَحَرِ Your sins will be forgiving even if they cover the ocean floor. يَا بْنَ آدَمْ لَوْ بَلَغَتْ ذُنُوبُكَ عَنَانِ السَّمَاءِ If your sins piled up to the heaven. No human being can do this in a lifetime. وَجِئْتَنِي And you came back to Allah. With repentance, with sincere in your heart, Ya Allah, I know, I was weak. غفرتُ لك, I will forgive you. لو جئتني بملء الأرض خطايا, if you fill the whole earth, every step you make was wrong, you came back to me, I will forgive. I will bring the whole earth full of forgiveness for you. Allah says, جئتك بملؤها, I will fill it with forgiveness for you. سبحان الله. That's who Allah is. That's the one we put our, we bow down and say, Allah, Subhana Rabbi al Azim, glory belong, belong to you. You are the greatest. The greatness belongs to you alone. You've put your face in the ground and says, Allah, you are the most high. Greatness belongs to you. 
forgive me, forgive my parents, forgive the believers. Yeah? So this is the month that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. This is the month the Prophet sallallahu say, if you seek istighfar, you say, astaghfirullah al azim Yeah, oh Allah, you're the greatest. I didn't disobey you because I don't think you're the greatest. I disobey because I am the weak. I am, this is my creation, I was wrong. Nothing to do with your greatness, nothing to do with disrespecting your command. Yeah? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He will be forgiving even if he commits a treason against the Ummah. Which is death penalty in any culture. Just istighfar, tawbah, dhikr. This is the month. This is the month. So inshallah, don't ever lose hope. If Allah himself says, I'm waiting, you just turn and I will accept it. No, no matter who you are. <laughs> Subhanallah, no matter, you know matter. Fir'aun himself. Fir'aun himself. Allah says, لَعَلَّهُ يَذَّكَّرَ وَيَخْشَى Hopefully, he will be, oh, Fir'aun, who is trying to kill prophets, he's killing everybody. Allah says, no, 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 no. This life is just a trial. If the person realizes before it ends, yeah, so this is Ramadan, is the month of forgiveness. We need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from our heart for forgiveness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us and our parents and our family. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all our sins, all our mistakes. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our tawbah. We ask Allah to make us from those who repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. We ask Allah to make us from those who remember Him much. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our Ramadan, to accept our fasting, to make all of us witness Laylat al-Qadr in the best state of Iman. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to raise our rank in the dunya and akhra. We ask Allah to give us the best of this life and the hereafter. Wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa jazakumullah khair.